Now this is Lugano Airport in the very south of Switzerland land and well let me tell you it's known as the final boss when it comes to smooth landings because it has the steepest approach in the world. Which is why pilots have to do a Lugano qualification. Yes, every two years a pilot has to do a mandatory familiarization briefing. And it very quickly turns out why. Let's go ahead and fly a quick little ILS approach into this runway. Um, here we go. Glide slope is coming. Let's turn on all approach mode. Yes, there we go. Airplane is following glide slope barely. Yes, the truth is this immensely steep approach has a 6.65 approach angle, which is double the steepness of any other approach around the world. And so you'll find out that most airplanes and their autopilots will struggle to even fly this approach properly. I mean, look at this runway down there. Take a look at how high we are. We have to be that because this straight and approach leads over mountains. And so here we are on final approach at a descent rate of 2,000 feet per minute, which is why we are doing the landing with the spoilers out. Uh, they're not, hello? They're barely out here, as you can see. Yes, this might not be the most sophisticated ILS Cat 3 or anything instrument landing system here. Just very basic, and it kind of sucks because it doesn't even get you on the center line properly, I feel like, here. Following um, a localizer. Let's just see if this airplane can land itself here on this runway. Where, by the way, when we land, we do need to pull in full power stopping because it is extremely short. All right, so what is this autopilot doing? Can this thing flare properly? Will this thing work? Come on. You're looking fine here on your approach. Uh, okay, here's the autopilot coming in for landing. Let's see how that goes. It's all yours. She's all yours. Okay, she's. D you're going to crash it onto the runway, aren't you? Oh my god. Oh! Oh my. Okay, there you go. Congratulations. You've killed your airplane. You've killed the passengers on board and everyone's dead now. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, but we've stopped. Holy moly. So I guess the quest for today is, is there an autopilot that's able to cope with this runway? Is there a plane that does that? Why are there bisons there? Shut up. I mean, yes, of course, there's also the question what plane can land on this 4,600 feet long runway. It's, by the way, the shortest runway that I know that has ILS. It's also the question which airplane can do this approach at all. But of course, we're going to try airliners. Um, Let's do Airbus A320. See if that works. All right. Let's try the Airbus A320. Am I right? So let's go ahead and slow it down to just as much as we can. This airplane is now aligning on the localizer. Look at that runway is down there. We're now at 7,800 feet. Whereas the runway runway is at 900 feet. We have to lose 7,000 feet within just a minute or two. Yes, this is literally an approach that makes you fall out of the skies here. Let's go ahead. Yep, there we go. Turn on approach mode here. Yes, let's slow the airplane down as much as we can and also put out the spoilers right now already. Let's also get the landing gear out so that we can get as much drag as possible. Yes, genuinely falling out of the skies now. All right, let's turn on both autopilot for the best of auto land. Cat 3 duel, huh? And come on, airplane, hold your speed. You can do it, airplane. Why? Because I've learned on the Airbus A320 here in the flight sim, the airplane will refuse to descend at a rate of higher than 1,500 feet per minute. And it's kind of reluctantly flying this crazy approach. The Autoland doesn't like to fall out of the skies like that because Autoland is only designed for a steepage of half of this. Um, so what are you going to do now, Airbus? What I'm not liking, Airbus, is that you're not putting out the spoilers that I'm telling you to do. This plane is just not able... Oh, no, what is it doing here? You're now at 160 knots because the spoilers aren't actually out. As I... Even though I told you to do that. I mean, of course, the ILS is now designed that you take over and do the final landing. But this is just a total mess, Airbus. This is not how you're supposed to do it, is it? Is it going to flare? It's trying. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Boom! Airbus has failed! But there is one plane that is very much able to do this approach because its systems are a bit less restricted on cowboy flying, the 737. Oh, come on. So, 737 flaps, set flaps to 40 degrees, which is crazy. And turn on the approach mode now. Yes. Sure, okay. All right, put the speed brakes down all the way. Now, granted, this is a 737-600, so a bit smaller, and we can fly very, very slowly. But even here, this airplane is overly confused with this, why are we flying down so much? 
Okay, you're doing fine. Better than the Airbus. Shh, you're okay. You're doing fine. You're doing absolutely okay. Now, let's set auto brake to max. Because I promise to you, we will definitely need that. All right, falling down like a rock yet again here at... Lugano. Okay, here we are. Just checking out the landing from the outside view. Don't crash into grass. I think the 737 is handling it quite well. Hard landing, very hard landing, but kind of survivable to be honest there. Look at that and full power stopping. Here we go, that was kind of survivable. Just not very good. Yes, auto landings are usually a little bit harder, but yeah, flaring, not really. Anyway, let's maybe try a potent plane that's a bit more modern. Maybe it's gonna be able to handle it a little bit better. And that is, of course, the Airbus A350, which finally now is able to put out the spoilers properly. And as you can see, it's uh, flying this approach here. Although this plane here straight up says, nope, we will not do it. Okay, womp womp. Uh, but this plane is actually not doing poorly, of course. Of course, the Airbus Labuga, Beluga. It's a bit too big here to land, honestly. But no trouble, we can turn auto brake to max and see how it goes. Come on. Uh, just like the A320, it's not going necessarily well, to be honest. It's not working. All right, what if we just let the autopilot do its thing? It's way too high. No idea what you're doing, Airbus. And it turns out you have no idea what you're doing either. Okay, landing not possible. Okay, the Airbus Beluga has officially given up on its dream here. That is very embarrassing. Maybe Boeing works better after all. Okay, and the 747 right here is able to somehow do it, which is insanely fast. Uh, this autopilot, these autopilots are kind of a mess. Anyway, plane is flying. Hey, that's not bad. At least the spoilers are fully out, so we should be able to descend quite nicely. Yeah, so Boeing does it a lot better here. Land three. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's going to be able to do it quite nicely. So come on, 747. Boeing's pride is now on you. We're at 2,400 feet per minute. Great. Okay, it's doing something interesting. Uh, flying beneath the glides. What is it doing? Syncrate. Yeah. Please don't crash into the caravan field here. Oh, but it's not. It's actually doing best so far, even though we're super fast. Just uh, flare now. 150, 40, 30, 20. Uh, we've just killed a bunch of people. Yes, as it turns out, auto landing, not really possible down here at Lugano Airport. Um, let's see, 787, last straw. Dude, why did this plane stall at 150 knots? That's just insane. All right, I don't care anymore. Just do whatever you need to do. Don't care, don't care. It's all yours. Okay, now it's pulling, uh, it's pulling up. So let's just go ahead and land this airplane by hand. Pretty sure I can look. Oh, wow, great physics here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Normal Microsoft Flight Sim Physics. Let's go ahead and put her down. I'm pretty sure I can put her down better here. Holy moly. What is this? There we go. I'm pretty sure I'm able to land this plane better in outside view than the autopilot could ever do. There we go. That was actually the smoothest landing of the day, which is absolutely insane. So there we go. We have, uh, we're stopping now. Look at that. Oh, wow. Nice landing gear. All right. So everybody, um, this is an airport where you hand land. That's kind of what you do here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.